It appears through the city skyscrapers. This is East Africa's longest cross city bridge. It is human engineering at its extravagant level. Constructed and sustained under the partnership between the government of Kenya and the China Road and Bridge Corporation, the expressway has changed the city's skyline. It is now the backbone of Nairobi's transport system. A generational dream that became a reality after decades of delay. This is a place unlike any other in the world. Kenya's capital city, Nairobi, the green city in the sun, as it used to be called. A place that is both a modern city full of skyscrapers and a jungle home to about 100 mammal species, lions, giraffes, leopards, buffaloes, and rhinos. With over 5 million inhabitants and a land area of about 700 square kilometers, it is arguably the largest city in East Africa. A majority of the people live in areas where they must commute to the heart of the capital city. Coordinating the movement of all these people borders a nightmare. More than half of city travelers must use Waiyaki, Uhuru and Mombasa highways. And it is one of the reasons why Nairobi is one of the most congested cities in Africa. Commuters here take more than two hours to travel a journey of less than 30 minutes. Hundreds of thousands of cars drive in the capital city every day. In order to relieve the traffic network, a giant road, partly elevated, has been built. It connects Kenya's biggest airport and the busy central district area. When it was launched, Kenya's retired president, Uhuru Kenyatta, called it a game changer. This singular project basically secures Nairobi's status as the region's capital, as well as the region's economic nerve center, and therefore strengthening Kenya's position as East and Central Africa's commercial and diplomatic hub. The Nairobi Expressway has not only contributed to alleviating traffic congestion in Nairobi, but also given this beautiful city under the sun a big boost as a regional hub. To travel on the expressway is an adventure. It is literally a communion between motorists and human creations. Skyscrapers. It is comfortable. It is exciting.
from where I am standing, you can be able to see Kenya's skyscrapers, the Global Trade Center, which is the GTC, the Oracle, One Africa, Britam Towers. The remarkable structure built by the China Road and Bridge Corporation stands in the heart of the Kenyan capital city. When I came over here 29 years ago, that is 1993. It's early Saturday morning. Everything you see here was not there. And Kenya's veteran broadcaster, Uncle Fred Machoka, is headed for work. There should be more changes on this side because uh, people find it easier to get out of town. You know, Nairobi can be quite uh, a handful for those who are advancing in age. He stays in the neighboring Kajado County as local administrations are called in Kenya. Yeah, here we are. He tells me the construction of the Nairobi Expressway has been a huge pain reliever. This is one thing I'll remember President Uhuru for, to be honest. Yeah, this one he did it for me, because I've suffered on this road for 29 years. That's a notal short period. Yeah, so, you know, someone who was born 29 years ago, some of them are already married with children. And I've been on this road suffering. He says the expressway has enabled him to save time and in the long run have more time for his family and businesses. Uh, between Mlolongo and uh, JKA, I could take sometimes two hours, sometimes more. Right now, we hit the expressway three minutes ago. We are, approaching, we are approaching Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in another 30 seconds. The road stretches from Lolongo and the city outskirts through the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and other neighborhoods covering a distance of 27.1 kilometers right in the heart of Nairobi. It is a complex network of various interchanges, toll stations, underpasses, overpasses, footbridges, and the roadway itself. It has 11 interchanges that welcomes vehicles from different corners of the city. Like a backbone, it forms a trunk upon which Nairobi's major highways and key infrastructure are linked. We are talking about Kenya's major airport, the Standard Gauge Railway, Eastern and Southern Bypasses, and Thika Highway. Interestingly, most of those mega projects were also constructed by Chinese companies. I asked the driver for the pass watcher. I scan it here, determine the tolls, then tell the driver the tolls, the driver pays. I give the change when necessary and the receipt. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the Nairobi Expressway. Please wait. Let me scan for you. Three hundred shillings, three hundred, three hundred shillings. Do you have any lesser money? Yeah. Okay.
Here's a change of 100 shillings and bill. Have a safe trip. Bye. Okay. So you love this job? I love this job. This job is marvelous. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome to the Nairobi Expressway. Please wait. My name is Atonya Brian Amutsa. I am currently the voucher manager at JKI Toll Station. And uh, I joined Moja Expressway last year, November. But I started working as a toll attendant. I did not start the way I am right now. Because I applied as a toll attendant, and I had never seen anything like this before. It's a new concept in Kenya. We have never had such an idea before. It's a new thing in Kenya, so I did not know what to expect until I came here. Until we were taken through the training, which was marvelous, and until, until we started working the actual work now. That is when I started enjoying the whole thing, because it's very interesting actually. We cannot, we cannot complain. This thing is it's a new concept, which is very interesting. When the construction of the Nairobi Expressway began in 2020, Frederick Kojo had just completed the construction of phase two of the standard gauge railway. And with the experience he had, he was drafted into the engineering team that was to deliver Kenya's first elevated highway. I was so happy. I was so happy. And look, uh, the thing is, we all know that many, uh, if not all, would want to work with a media project like this one. Uh, one thing, I always love taking pictures of. When I walk around, I take pictures of the Nairobi Expressway, the Mombasa Road, and compare the two. I, I, I give a part of my bag. I say, yes, this is what we wanted. And what impact has Kenya's newest engineering masterpiece had on Nairobi and its environs? According to former infrastructure, Principal Secretary Professor Paul Maringa, Kenyans started to feel the impact of the Nairobi Expressway the day construction began. Besides, the 4,000 men and women that were employed as engineers and builders, the technique used on strengthening concrete beams for construction became a practical tool for engineering students in Kenya. For you to do this kind of long bridges, you require concrete, reinforced concrete that is a little bit more than what we use normally in. We use reinforced concrete in. What we're using in here is priestess concrete in. It's a unique technology, not new to the theoreticians, so we teach it in the universities. Eh? But there's hardly any person in Kenya producing priestess concrete in. The number of vehicles using the expressway has been rising since the road was opened for public use. It's rush hour at Museum Hill exit ramp. A long queue of cars leaving the expressway is testament to the increased uptake. After a long and busy day at work, the least most of these dwellers want is sitting for hours in traffic. It is where the expressway comes in. Recent data show that about 60,000 cars now use the expressway each day. The operator says the expressway has become an attractive infrastructure to city dwellers. Between May and December 1st, 2022, 7.6 million vehicles had used the new road. Moja Expressway expects the number of vehicles to rise to 70,000 per day by mid-January 2023. This calls for maximum precision from the entire staff of Moja Expressway the company that operates the toll road.
The logistics behind toll roads require constant control in absolutely every situation. Here, they detect everything 24 hours a day. The responsibility of ensuring that this is achieved rests with these men and women. Data from all corners of the expressway is transmitted to this room at the Moja Expressway headquarters, the control center. It is then analyzed with results and directions relayed back to toll attendants. I'm George Karemi Ndishum. I started working here last year, late last year, around November. And after um, we enrolled, I got enrolled, um, the, we, we started some trainings, some class trainings, and I got to know about an ETC service, electronic toll collection service and uh, manual toll collection service. So those were the other main toll collection, mode of toll collections on the expressway, but there was still cash. Dishu works at the customer service center. His role is to ensure users of the expressway have all it takes to enjoy the services on offer. When we visited the Moja Expressway headquarters, Dishu and his team were busy serving motorists that had come to have their cars installed with the electronic toll collection unit. On a daily basis, Dishu engages with Zhang Jin, the company's general manager for corporate affairs. Jin has been helping him incorporate the IT skills he acquired back in the university into customer care service. Like uh, configurations, uh, network configurations, you know, they really came in handy. They really came in handy because I found the same things here. <laughs> So I didn't, have, uh, the cha I didn't have that challenge, that big challenge when doing those configurations, those network configurations. Mm -hmm. But some of the things were new, uh, like for the, for, the, for the OBUs, that, um, that process of uh, mounting an OBU, getting to activate it, troubleshooting it. Hi. Hello. Do I sit here? My name is Jean Meongio and I'm the official spokesperson of the Moja Expressway Company which is in charge of the operations of the Nairobi Expressway. If there's something that I have learned from working with the Chinese and I really appreciate it is the fact that they are very keen and they pay so much attention to detail. And I think that is why whenever they work on a project we are all left in awe because they take this slightest details into consideration and that is what makes everything perfect. The Nairobi Expressway is a construction marvel. Built by the China Road and Bridge Corporation to reduce traffic congestion and the Kenyan capital city. It took Chinese and Kenyan engineers less than two years to work it out. The construction began in 2020, and by May 2022, members of the public were allowed on the road for a test run. As one of the achievements of the Kenya-China cooperation under the framework of the Belt and Road Initiative put forward by China, the construction of the Nairobi Expressway was done under the Build, Operate and Transfer Agreement. What it means is that CRBC will operate the highway for the next 27 years as it recoups its investment before transferring it to the Kenyan government. As the new road continues to facilitate faster movement of people and goods across the city of Nairobi, both Kenyan and Chinese officials believe that it will foster harmony between the people of the two countries besides attracting more investments into the East African country. My name is Anoxikoli, and this is The Kenyan Historian. <laughs>